Hello everybody, Sandeep here. Welcome to our channel eConstruct Design and Build Private Limited. In this video, we are going to discuss one of the very exciting topic. We call it as the BIM technology and the project management. Many people are doing the expertise only into the construction management or a project management. Some people are doing the expertise only into the uh, BIM technology or the BIM. Now these two technologies are different and at the same time this requires to be acquired by a particular company or by a particular person in order to get the maximum benefit out of it. What is this actually? BIM technology is basically the building information modeling in which you will model all the architectural plans, structural, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, firefighting, all the structural items, architectural items, means the civil items, finishing items as well as the interior items. All right, so BIM is basically the information, the how much depth of information is required, it depends upon the LOD, the level of development. So how much amount of level of development that you require, how much amount of, uh, you know, information that you require to absorb uh, based on the requirement of the project. Depending upon that, we develop the model in terms of the architectural, structural and all that services that I just said. Apart from this actually, once you the uh, in, entire information is there, how to see that in the plans, in the sections, in the elevation, in the 3D view, in the walkthrough, uh, you know, through the, the, the bird view, uh, from bottom to top, from top to bottom, different, different views through which visualization would be perfect. 3D is basically the visualization, 2D is basically the plans. So to the plan, if you see that, if you see somebody from the top, you will see certain things, you will acquire certain information, but that doesn't mean that you get everything. For that, you require the elevation. Another thing is section, you cut it and you check that. So these type of requirement, it was uh, there at some point of time, but at the same time in nowadays, it is very important that you actually walk through this and you see the different, different angles and the perspective views so that you get the look and feel and the kind of complexity, how to resolve the problems, the critical problems as a civil engineer, as the BIM technology. So such kind of expertise you definitely require as a project manager. Okay, all right, so the BIM technology will give you that with, through the AR VR technology. You might have seen that the Apple headphones actually, which are, which are the AR VR gadgets through which you will see that the entire building, you are actually walking inside the building. You are actually walking in, inside the industry and you are seeing the complexity of the project and what kind of things required to do. Because at the same time, if you are doing that at the time of execution or erection, you will see a lot of cost, time, energy, money is required. Lacks of lakhs of rupees, sometimes the crores of rupees will be going in waste because the entire flow, entire the construction sequence is getting hampered. That's why the BM technology is extremely important and it is the base of collecting the knowledge to the project manager. Many a times in India, in abroad, I've seen that I was there in Dubai, many a times people will not have the proper data. You require a proper data, you require a proper information in order to manage certain projects. How to manage this kind of projects? What kind of information is there? What is the view? At the foundation, what is the cost? How At the plinth, what is the cost? At the first slab, second slab, third slab, what is the cost of the skeleton? What is the cost of the finishing items? What are the costs related to the, the, the parameters that we require at the different phases? How am I going to, you know, make sure that this cash flow is happening? So the cash flow is very important. Next to our project, next to our building only, office only, there is another project. Almost, you know, 12 to 13 years, this project has become like a bankyard. Means nobody is there, only the, uh, you know, the watchman and couple of other people. 13 years, the project has become like a bankyard. Means no invest and no returns on the investment that, you know, crores of rupees of investment is just lying there. Right? So like that, you might have seen so many projects in different parts of the world. So how to make sure that the project is viable, your investment, there is a sufficient amount of return is there. Imagine that, you know, you bought one iPhone and you don't know where that iPhone is. How, 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 how do you feel? I've done so much of investment and somehow I lost it. Alright, so it's very important that whenever you do any kind of investment and you are very sure that how much amount of returns that you are getting, cash flow analysis, finance management, site management, contracts management related to the compliances, related to legal, many, many different types of managements are there, Con contracts, uh, uh, in the contracts you are having legality, in the contracts you are having the, uh, uh, the time related things. 
uh, apart from that uh, you know you will be having uh, certain other types of management also like uh, day to day cash which we call it as the accounts management related to the safety uh, is also very important safety management so many many different types of management systems are required when it comes to the project management when it comes to the construction management and you require a certain valuable information to feed in so that you know you do the simulations of certain data if the data simulation or if the data itself is wrong or if it is from the wrong source you will do the simulations incorrectly so bim technology is a separate thing project management is a separate thing i got it but uh, along with that since symphony or the syn synchronization of both the this type of branches will create a different type of synergy and believe me so many wondrous changes wondrous you know cash flows and the profitability index we could able to achieve in many of the sites Uh, where you know we have done such kind of consultancy so if you are a project manager if you are a site engineer if you are a builder if you are an investor if you really wanted to go for higher levels of profitability index you know how the base calculations or the uh, uh, the graphs related to you know if you are buying one particular share from a share market let's say a lakh or 2 lakh rupees you are invest investigating many things what is the pe ratio how how the company is performing what is this happening what is the cash flow is happening is the management is right what is the uh, you know what all the things are there but when it comes to the construction we you know we we don't really give the value to the consultants with the engineers with uh, you know what kind of qualification and what kind of things are there so it's very important guys for us to understand that what you know kind of information what kind of technology what kind of people that we require in my particular project so that that this particular project which i am investing in crores of rupees of investment is happening and it is not going to uh, uh, to the west and believe me many many people will will agree on this that it's a very high risk construction or the real estate is considered to be very high risk parameter many of the companies or many of the private banks or the government banks they have stopped giving the loans to or lend the loans to construction related projects it's the it's bill bill it's really a irony of this particular country or this particular sector why because so much of risk is there but that risk simulation or risk mitigation or risk reduction is not happening we have to start working with the different technology bim technology is also having the augmented reality ar vr machine learning many many different parameters if you really want this kind of information at the right of your you know tips please see the uh, number here just give the whatsapp message we will give you the entire information how the profitability of the particular project from the loss to the no gain no profit and to the profit how the project can be diverted how the project can be uh, 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 project can be changed how instead of going to the loss actually at least no profit no loss things believe me there are so many people so many contractors if they work they go to the losses so many places it is happening escalation clauses are not there because of the contracts management because of the tendering system because of the management because of the loss of data because don't have a data because you are having so many revisions and so many changes and which is not matching so coordination problem communication problem as well as so many different types of problems people are facing and new technology if you don't adopt believe me you are sitting on the firewall and at any particular time your project would be under big loss which you, nobody can afford it all right so if you really want to have or uh, learn this kind of technology please uh, you know click on the description box and get in touch with us and we'll give the entire information thank you so much bye bye